Amadeus the wizard was asleep in his cottage. It was a place where he could study his fireball spell, hidden from the scornful eye of his wife. Turn it off. I'm sleeping here. What is it? Who's there? How very strange. The head was blocked, but this wouldn't stop the great wizard, Amadeus. With his magic, he could lift objects. Amadeus could also conjure boxes out of thin air. The light moved through the forest, leading Amadeus further. Torn between fear and wonder, he followed. I demand to know what's happening. The trine. Not this again. <gasps> Pontius! Amadeus, get your things! We need to save the kingdom! What? Oh, this won't do at all, Pontius. I've children waiting for me to come home. I can't leave. But your magics are needed. The kingdom is in danger. <sighs> Will this nightmare ever be over? Despite his reluctance, Amadeus knew that the heroes were needed once more. How did you end up here? Let me tell you. Pontius had headed out that evening, for there was trouble on the peasant farms. Creeping vines were taking over the fields. A warlock must be behind this devilry. I'll find him and teach him a lesson with my sword. With luck, there'll be pumpkin pie for dinner tonight. Pontius searched the farm, but saw no one there. The nasties must have fled at the sight of me. Dangerous. Be nasty, weeds. I'll show you what for. I'm Pontius the Brave, and I won't fall in a battle with dandelions. Pontius had never understood what exactly the trine did, but he knew that the artifact was there to help, and so Pontius felt happy. He couldn't think of a better quest than saving his kingdom. Late that night, Zoya was concealed in the shadows, hidden from the shimmering moonlight. Zoya passed through the town as quietly as a whisper. Then she saw a glimmering light moving on top of the old church.
the train. How inconvenient. What are you doing here in the middle of the night?